Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. What do you call this thing? Art? You still with us, Ben? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. Will. Keep an eye out. Ow! Um, I'm okay! I'm okay! Just get me out of here! Shh, quiet, Ben! Or they'll be on top of us! Yeah, try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry, just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh, God! He's quiet. We could take our time and save his life. I can be super quiet. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. Oh God, don't let them get to me. Have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. Just a few. Give them to me. What are you gonna do? Give them to me and get the hell out of here! I'm not leaving you. Go! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! What the fuck, Kenny? Lee. Lee, it's okay. 
Katya wouldn't want this. Damn it, Ken! Yeah, she would. I either save the kid or I get to see her. Either way. Now get back up there. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Damn it, Kenny! Oh, fuck! Kenny, please! What happened? Heard a shot. He was fighting them off. Trying to at least it. <sighs> you saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He did what he had to, all the way to the end. We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to talk? That's two on him now. The motherfucker who's got Clementine has been and Kenny to answer for. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. And we'd be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. Look, Lee. This is a shitty time. But I want to clear something up. What is it? Clementine. I know Kenny was your guy. Yeah? Well... Just take care of her as long as you can. Then find her a family that's capable. We are capable. You and your girlfriend might want different things. That's enough. Fine. But you heard me. She'll be fine, Lee. River Street's just up ahead. Oh, careful. Even the buildings are full. You never know where the next meal is. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay.
Marshall's hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? I'll figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Can you help me? I don't know what we can do from here. Anything. It's fucked, Lee. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotel's around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way.
got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the you... taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far, I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You let that little girl get fed disgusting human meat. It's more complicated than that. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us! We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! I 
How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm going to hurt you so bad. I'm sorry! I hear that. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. I'm bitten. What? I got bit, and I'm gonna make sure you end up the same way as me. I, uh... Make sure you shoot me in the head. No. I'll be with her and you'll be rotting in the streets. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. have come back. That's right, sweet pea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Clementine, we don't have much time. Okay. I'm sorry, Lee. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay, sweetie. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can.
I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Which way out? Through there. Jesus. Don't look in there. No, I know. Savannah. So And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around and don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. <laughs> 